Hello everybody, welcome to Rome presentation. My name is Ali Mashai. I'm working at Rome for five years and I'm in charge of power segment and applications for the European market. As you can see from the title of my presentation, I would like to talk about our new SIC MOSFET, which is representing our fourth generation of SIC technology. It's already well known that silicon carbide is now gaining a lot of acceptance in the power market. Therefore, many semiconductor suppliers are engaged with their development activities to this technology. Rome is a pioneer in this market with 20 years of experience and with remarkable milestones. As you can see, the first industrialized SSC power module, the first mass produced trench technology, and today with the next step of trench technology of a SIC MOSFET. Let's have a look of this comparison between silicon carbide technology and silicon technology. You can see here that the most available silicon based products are very close to the theoretical limits of this technology. The theoretical limits of SIC technology are far below the silicon, which results to remarkable reduction of system losses, or in other words, increase system efficiency and contribute to reduce system costs. In our second generation, we could achieve a value of a specific on resistance of 8.5 milliohm quadrant centimeter. And in our third generation, we could reduce this value of around 50% via introduction of trench structure. With our new four generation, we could now achieve further reduction of around 40%. Focus applications of our new four generation are for sure hybrid and electric vehicles, PV inverters, power supplies, factory automation, and last but not least, charging stations. If we compare the output characteristics of the fourth generation and third generation, you can see here that we could achieve higher current capability with the same bare die size. Beside this reduction of RDS on of 40% for the same bare die size, we could also achieve to switch on our device with 18 volt or also with 15 volt, which is common gate voltage for IGBTs. That was a comparison of static characteristics. Now let's have a look to a comparison of switching losses. With the same bare die size at DC link voltage of 600 volt and drain current of 136 amp, we could achieve a total losses reduction between 50 to 60 percent. We could also achieve to reduce the risk of parasitic turn on from a device level and cell structure. Okay, people would ask now what is the situation after Corona and the production expansion plan what Rome announced in 2018. The answer is very clear from our side. We keep on our plan and Rome is committed to its silicon carbide customer to ensure stable supply chain and expanding their production capacity. To summarize my presentation, Rome completed the development phase of the fourth generation we are now preparing the production phase of this product. Samples are available on demand and Rome is already cooperating with more than 30 companies worldwide based on this product. 
that's all for my side. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, wish you all the best and successful uh, special uh, PCM this year. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.